so in this tutorial I will define box gutter section in CSI bridge and verify the section property of CSI bridge with the original section produced by the cat in AutoCAD or in MicroStation. So if you can see this section, box gutter section I got from the AutoCAD and this is the original section which have 16.56 width, 2 meter deep, unequal gutter spacing, webbed thickness is 1.15 and we have top and bottom slab and we have some haunch here which is 600 horizontal and vertical vertically it is 200 so these are in mm and these all are in meter so that we can convert into meter later on so if you can see this section i got from autocad and then i calculate the property section property of this box gutter section which is the area which we need to calculate the self weight of the box gutter and the i z is the moment of inertia which is 7.35 so this property we are looking exactly in the csi bridge and this is the cg from the bottom 1.06 so before starting csi bridge let me explain you further that this section is unequal gutter spacing that's why i selected this section to define this section in CSI bridge so let's go to CSI bridge and remember this dimension or if we can make two screen to define this section properties okay now I'm going to CSI bridge so open CSI bridge from here if you are if you are you have to do you have to go to the file new once you click to the new tab then you have to wait little else my my pc is very slow remember to keep your unit in matrix system if you are dealing doing in matrix so if you see this the new model and you have one form so quickly i will jump jump to quick bridge but before going to the quick bridge i have to see the unit so i will keep kilo newton meter because i am dealing and uh, my section is in meter so i will go to quick so this is another quick general bridge template form there are a lot of things to define but the uh, my task to define the section bridge section only so if you see superstructure data bridge section now there are if you click this there are a lot of things so i suggest you just you if you go to the edit you can define this section but the problem i can see here there is no shape either you have to look here that the external gutter vertical slope so i will recommend you just you say you click here okay and wait for csi bridge to produce one csi model the bridge model which you can change in the later stage so once you get this one go to undeform now go to components and if you see here this is you are interested in deck section go to deck section modify this now from here you can go to add new section which is now you can see there are a lot of shapes here which are the same as in the first template form but here you can see the section shapes and you can pick the nearest section which you have which you have so if you if i go back to my section we I, if you see this section is i have vertical gutters here so this option suits me more but at the same time i have to see some limitation if i click this section let's suppose so if you see all gutters are vertical but problem with this i can see this is equal gutter spacing which is not my case so further this if you see there is no this is vertically so there is no 
radius defined here and in this section but in my case if you see we have some radius here so I, I will not select this option I will cancel it I will go again add new section then if I see see this is a, this is a sloping girder which is this is also not my option similarly these are all clipped radius so in this case I have one advanced option let's explore this option first so in this option the thing why I selected this option because if you see S1, S2, S3 so these are different girder spacing which I am looking for but the thing is it is this is in inclined I have a vertical straight girder but if you see this theta if I make it zero then I can go for I can define like this so this is more suitable option for me so I have already defined my section in one of other file so let me go to the, that file so this is the section which I define if I go to again super restricted tag section if I click here if you see this I have changed the name I will go to the modify so you can see this uh, I have defined already this section which looks like to my desired section and then how I define that section this I will explain you now so if you see that we have width we have to define the depth as per this form section data we have to put insert all the values what we have so if you if you, I go to my section original section let me make it two windows like this to make it clear so if you see that width is 16.56 which I have defined here you can change the name here material property properties we have two internal girders I have put two then total width is 16.56 the depth is 2 meter which is here now the constant girder is spacing I put it no here because the girder is spacing is different here 2.636 2.6262 so that's why I selected here no then if you say this see you can see this option constant girder and fillet dimensions I uh, I selected here because we have constant fillet dimension which is here which is 600 by 200 hot size similarly the constant slab thickness yes we have constant slab thickness here and at the bottom it's here. now keep gutter vertical once you are doing in the area model then you can say yes for that right now now if I go further down so the gutter web thickness is 1.1 which is this one for all then if you see this lab exterior gutter angle theta 1 theta 2 which is this one I make it 0 to make this whole section straight now if we go to specify radius at top of exterior which, which is this one and this one f11 to f14 f11 to f14 in this case if you can see I have this radius of 0.6 so I have this defined yes I have this radius then specify radius out, out, outside bottom of exterior gutter which is F15 through F18 I said yes which is this one in my case this is 0.4 specify radius at the inside bottom of exterior gutter F17 through F10 which is this one in my case I have haunch like this no radius so I put it no here now if I move here further let's move further in section data to define gutter spacing if you can see this gutter spacing S1, S2, S3 the image shown here it is from S1 started from the exterior gutter end of exterior gutter to the mid of the interior gutter then S2 is interior gutter mid of interior gutter to mid of other interior gutter 
as it is same as as two so if i go back to my original section which is this one in this section you can see that i have different gutter spacing this gutter spacing is not the same as as s1 s2 s3 because this is the clear spacing of between the girders so in this case to suit to input in csi bridge i need to calculate s1 s2 s3 for that i have calculated s1 s2 s3 here at the bottom of this excel sheet so s1 as i define you if i click here so 2.262 is a cell width plus i have added exterior gutter thickness which is 1.15 and mid of interior gutter thickness which is 1.15 multiplied by 0.5 so this will give me s1 and s3 from starting from here and ending from this side similarly s2 if you can see 3.786 how i got this value if i double click 2.63 which is this one then half i pick from this interior gutter and half i pick from this interior gutter which is 1.15 in total so i got the value of 3.786 so these values i define exactly here in the csi bridge section data now if i move further if i go here so if you can see this section slab section all around s1 s2 s3 i have 0.24 if you see i have 0.32 is the bottom slab thickness so why this giving 31 t2 for s1 s2 s3 and why why because it is a constant thickness so the thing is if you So uh, intentionally I, what I did, I put it here constant slab thickness no to explain you that if we make any one of this option no then I have uh, we need to define that somewhere in the below in the form somewhere here. So in my case the thickness is constant so I will go back again I will say yes. So now if you can go back to see the slab thicknesses so we will get only one thickness which is t1 which is valid for all this section t2 valid for this section which is 0.32 so in this case we need to define only one for the top slab thickness and one for the bottom slab now go further if you see this radius data as i explained you earlier that f1 f14 which is this one this one and f15 and through f18 which is the bottom this side so we have this uh, radius in original section if you see 0.6 radius which is this one so i put it here 0.6 at the bottom you can see 0.4 i put it here 0.4 so and the section the it will match with the original section now go further down now we need to define this if you can see this haunch I have mentioned here horizontal which is this direction is 0.6 meter and vertically this is 0.2 meter so all the haunches are same so I have to keep this on in my mind and I will quickly define this fillet horizontal dimension so let me go further down if you go further down so you can see this this dimension I use F2 0.6 and f3.6 so the f2 is basically this dimension and f3 is this dimension so horizontal this is 0.6 i define like this f1 i i put it zero because i don't have f1 here original section i have f2 only and f3 so f2 and f3 f2 f3 all are same so i put it here f3 this 1.6 and f2.6 here and other i put it zero which is not required here now the f5 
this which is this one this one f6 so I put it here 0.6 as per the original section so if you see f9 here so I put it here I use you can use f8 also but I use f9 you can use f9 to put this 0.6 horizontally now if you go further if you can see f11 12 12 which you already define here you cannot modify these values because here you have insert already already 0.6 so the csi bridge calculate these f1 f2 f3 according to this radius similarly for so this f similarly f11 to 18 all cover like this means this all the bottom and the top so you cannot modify this value because you already put it here now go for the town vertical we will do the vertical fillet weld fillet damage sorry no weld oh so it is here 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 as i define you f2 which is one vertically this is how is 0.2 so i defined this one if we go further down so now we have to define the the overhang portion which is l1 and l2 if i go back to my original section so the overhang, uh, overhang section is 2.4 which is from here to here here to here so i define point 2.4 the t4 basically the thickness of this one and t5 the thickness of this one i define point 0.32 so if I show you this signal, why I define 0.32 because this, if you see, this is 0.24 at the end, and if you start this overhang, this is start from 0.4 section. So the thing is, I took the average between these two values because this sloping here. So I uh, there is no option to make it slope like original section. So on the conservative side, I have took 0.32 by making the average of this one similarly I took this three one. so this is the way we define whole section to match with our original section so now now the thing is whether we define it correctly that we need to verify how to verify that one so just keep in mind that we have this original section which has 15.539 is the auto area 7.35 if we match this value with this one then it means that we define this section correctly the bottom cg is 1.06 so let's go and see whether we are we are getting the same property or not so for that if you see this uh, after putting all these values we got this section which looks like similar to my original section now if i click so sec show section details here I will get this section one more section but i am interested to know the section property of this section so i will click here section properties now i get this section properties which is area 15.55 let me go back again to my excel sheet okay now this is all okay so the easiest option is to compare it like this so area is 15.55 here i am getting 15.539 which is almost equal the section modulus 7.3653 i am getting 7.35 or almost negligible difference the others i22 which is moment of inertia in other direction 2.69 2.269 and here is 267 which is fine okay so now let me see the cg the center of of section center of section which is 1.066 if from bottom if i see this c y cg is 1.068 which is almost same so we can rely on that result that we have matched four results from here so we can pick all these results and in this way we can say conclude that the defined section property the defined section in CSI bridge of box gutter is almost not almost means 100 percent or 99 percent matching with the actual section so this section we can use for the analysis purpose we can put here zero we can then okay and we can go back here 
further if you want to see this if you see this we have this section of it so this is this is a small tutorial which uh, I try to explain and verify the section property and how we define its CS average so if you if you, if you like this video please subscribe my channel for the new upcoming video thank you very much